Anyway, you want to talk to this guy as a wolf because he says something funny. That is a big fish. Yeah, I'll say, I think it's oh, rare color of wolf. Looks tasty. But tonight, fish night. Maybe another time. And I thought maybe this guy wouldn't be scared, but apparently, even very large people are scared. Anyway, how is that fish still alive? It's been out of the water for probably, if he, he climbed up the mountain, it's gotta be, you know, a couple of hours now. Yeah. Well, it took you only about, probably less than a half hour to climb up the mountain. Real time. Game time, it was a couple days. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> also, even a few minutes is kind of a long time for a fish to be out of water. Exactly. It's kind of like, you know, humans without oxygen. Actually, it's pretty much exactly like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true, because fish get um, oxygen from the water from the gills. So. <laughs> yeah, so... I told this thing that I'm... I guess I can say this guy. I told this guy that I'm looking for a piece of a mirror. And he says, well, wouldn't you know, we happen to have one of them. He's like, oh, come to the house and see for self. Caught fish, caught meal, something, something. <laughs> so it seems like all of the, all of the, you know, really popular and long time video game franchises have to have a snowboarding scene at some time or another. You have snowboarding in Final Fantasy VII. And you have snowboarding in Twilight Princess. <laughs> it seems like the small thing to do. <laughs> this section was always, uh, I don't know, it was kind of fun. I like snowboarding. I like the music when you play, um, the minigame is, uh, another time. Yeah, um, that minigame is the section, the single section that, the one section that I have been dreading the most in this playthrough yeah, because of my too. challenge. <laughs> And as you can see, I'm not having a particularly easy time controlling myself. <laughs> Fortunately, this snowboard is like has infinite lives. <laughs> uh, these keys look annoying, but in practice, you're going too fast for them to do anything to you. And I crash into a wall. <laughs> I'm glad this doesn't do damage. So I try to go up there, which leads to a shortcut, but that doesn't work out so well. <laughs> well, no, I'm practicing it because I know I'm going to need to do it later. Seems like if I can't do it now when I'm not under time pressure, how am I going to do it later? Yeah. And actually, I'm realizing I want it to be. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I want it to be night when I get down to the bottom because there's another toe there. And guess what? I jump off in exactly the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> and again. <laughs> So this time I managed to take the shortcut. But do I manage to finish it? I was going to say, I'm like, I don't know. Survey says oh, no. Oh, well, I think it's the way of the other snow thing. I, I overcorrected. Okay, this time I'm showing the whole thing, which means it must be the time when I made it. Oh, okay. As you can see, I have four hearts missing now. You were doing pretty good there for a while on that shortcut. <laughs> Thanks. 
Well, let's see how many times I crash, even on the time when I make it. We'll keep the crash counter. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is fun, but it's also rather requires a lot of precision. Yeah, I actually thought you were gonna crash on the bridge here for a second. Okay, I Okay, one. Oh, there's one. Oh wow, you must make the shortcut. Yeah. Um like I said, I'm gonna have to do it later, might as well do it now. And I really got close to falling off that time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that should have been a crash. Yeah. Two. Now it is. <laughs> Four crashes. <laughs> Three. <laughs> that was of me trying to turn and failing. And now I'm just going all over the place, every way except the way I'm supposed to go. <laughs> yeah. And now it's like, please, just a little more momentum. <laughs> okay, I managed to do it with only three crashes, but a whole bunch more derp. If I was linked by that point, it's like... Why am I still riding this thing? I can just hoof it the rest of the way. <laughs> <laughs> but thou must. A total of three crashes, or in this case, three tricks. Spanish. Yes, I know. I'm just wondering why we're doing it in Spanish. I don't know of any speak Spanish-speaking region that this that's this cold. <laughs> Except possibly, I don't know, maybe some mountainous parts of South America or something. Yeah, what are those trays? Refund substitutions are returned. <laughs> <laughs> I just... It was so... It took me so long, like, before I actually got half of what that guy said in the lab. I'm, I'm guessing you're referring to the genie? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like... Yeah, when he said, for example, when he said, Caesar salad, et tu brute, I had no idea what that was about. And then I... Oh, yeah, that part was funny. <laughs> and I'm trying to get up this small hill. Oh, yeah. By the way, being a wolf when you're in the snow is very useful because the wolf has lighter feet than a human leg. Makes sense. It doesn't and sink then, into the snow. And then sometimes the worst thing about this whole kind of thing is that when you finally get up here, you can sometimes fall off. Yeah, I made sure that didn't happen this time. And that is three quarters of the puzzles in the game. So finally, it's time to head into the next dungeon. I said that most of the yeah, I'm just checking my puzzles. I guess that's what I'm doing sometimes when I pause. Do I decide? Yeah, I decided to turn back into a wolf because it's just so slow going with the snow as a human. Uh, I was saying that most of the session was the snow peak ruins, and I guess the majority of it is, but I was thinking, you know, three quarters, but actually it's more like not even two thirds. Wow. <laughs> because I just spent so much time derping before the temple. And I'm sure there will be many more derps to come. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Don't worry, you're in good company, my friend. <laughs> yeah. I consider this the second most annoying dungeon in the game. And it's one of my favorites, but I will admit it's kind of... It, there's parts that can be really obnoxious. What would you say is the first, then? One we haven't, uh come across yet, but oh, I'm pretty sure Lightning will know what it is. Yes. And I, my guest commentator for that one will be a guest commentator who likes to laugh at people failing. <laughs> They're going to have a fun time there. Yes. Party. <laughs> and I think there's a Poe right off the bat. Yep. Yep. Oh. 
Let's sniff some more balls. You've got a poo today. <laughs> there are th a total of three poos in this town. Yeah, I always find it interesting how, like, the, uh, how, like, the next two dungeons have, like, more than the, um, normal number of poos. Because normally all the dungeons have two, I believe, but... Mm -hmm. Except for the, uh, first three, don't have any, but... Although the Arbiter's Grounds has five, so... Oh, what am I talking about? Well, it, it has four. <laughs> Oh, four, four, okay, I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> you cute little human. And I'm, I think at this time I'm saying, what, what do you mean? I'm like the same size as you. <laughs> I always liked this character. Yes. She always looked like a, like a China doll on a <laughs> What is she wearing on her head? I don't know. Uh, well, it's not a parka. Maybe it is, I don't know. Could be. So she's saying that the mirror is, seems to be causing bad stuff to happen, so they locked it away, and the key is right there. But she cannot get up to get it because she doesn't feel well, so. Uh, that's so we'll, get, we'll get the key for this Easter egg lady. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I got here after <laughs> falling into the abyss several times. Who <laughs> also has the smallest face I've ever seen. Well, I don't think we have to worry about that fish being alive anymore. No. <laughs> Although, why he didn't, like, you know, remove certain parts of it before putting it in the soup, I don't know. It looks like he just stuck the whole thing in there. At this point, I'm, at this point, I'm hearing uku, so... By the way, if you... I don't have any bottles empty, but you can get two hearts from drinking that soup. Yeah, it's quite a handy little, uh... Simple soup. Yeah. And at this point, I'm hearing Uku, and I'm trying to figure out where she is. Actually, I never knew she made a noise. Yeah, it's like a weep. Uh, yeah, I heard it too. Like a weep kind of noise. Like, like a chirp. Yeah. How does she always get stuck in a pot or something? You'd think she'd know to avoid those by now. Okay, and here she is. Hmm. Maybe she ran into the pot trying to run from the Yeti. And of course, as soon as you get to her, she can break out on her own. Makes sense. It's kind of funny if Link kind of the Oh well. What's she doing? And then I'm trying to... I'm trying to draw my sword and then figuring out, wait, I can't draw my sword in this room. That sucks. I'm just going to have to break the pots the slow way. So in this dungeon, the reason why hearts are such a big issue is not only because you take a lot of hits, it's because not a single enemy will drop a heart. Well, actually, That's not fair. one enemy will drop hearts, but that enemy is the boss. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so instead of that, what you have to do is fill your bottles up with soup or anything else you may have in other cards. Um, Actually, I never knew the enemies didn't drop hearts in this dungeon. I guess that makes sense, considering what the enemies are. They're too cold. They have no hearts. Oh, that's that's low blue. Oh, no, I hate this. <laughs> Or this, not this part right here, but you know what I'm thinking of. Actually, these puzzles are one of the things I'm pretty good at. Oh. Um, that is good. <laughs> now, here is Zelda logic. Whenever you touch ice, you are frozen. Like I said, it's Zelda logic. That, 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 that makes sense. Touch ice, get frozen. <laughs> touch so fuzzy, get dizzy. Why did you say heartless? Um, I should leave my house today. <laughs> no, 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 not snow, just ice. Oh. Well, I'm not trusting it. <laughs> oh, there was, there was something. One of the things in the, one of the combatants in the duel of 100 in Super Paper Mario. I made a couple screw ups here, but I didn't take too long to get it. 
one of the combatants says, like when you beat him, he's wondering why he lost, and it's like, some, and he's like, what is, what is the riddle or something like that? Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. <laughs> Which of course makes me think of Slim Kirby. <laughs> it's like America, man. <laughs> Okay, I, okay, maybe this was the point where I figured something out. Okay, I see what you're doing. Yes, yes, I see what I'm doing too. I see you're thinking of a solution. Uh -huh. <laughs> thought about it, the solution is obvious. <laughs> Either of you guys ever seen the game Switch Panic? No, I haven't. It's also, it's sometimes it's just called Panic. Um, it, it's a very, very strange game. It's for the Sega CD. I've never played it. I've just seen it on YouTube. Basically, the entire game consists of, you know, there are several buttons to press. Some of the buttons will teleport you to other areas, and the rest of them will just make really strange things happen. And one of them, one of them brings up a scene where, where the thinker is, like, moving around, and he's, he's saying... He's saying, think, 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 that's all they wanted me to do, but I want to, and like, you know, saying other stuff he wants to do as well, <laughs> like physical type stuff. Relative <laughs> yours. Now, it always made me wonder what this place was before, you know, the Yetis called it home. Oh, because it's ruins, yeah. Yeah, it just looks like it could have been, like, something bigger. It almost reminds me a little bit of, like... Uh, I wouldn't say Ganon's castle, per se, from Ocarina, but it looks a little bit like it. Especially that giant tower. So, I, I cut a bunch- I cut a few sections because these guys take forever to fight. Oh, yeah. Because they'll, like, run away from you and then come back and run away from you and come back. It's very nice. Come and fight me! Or not, you can just teleport, that works too. Yeah, that's time teleporting rather than space teleporting. <laughs> there are a couple of chests that you that are buried here. Uh, these are jerk to find. Not that one, but one of them. There is no indication where to find it, mm -hmm. and it's something you have to get. Yeah, I I think in this dungeon it's actually required to get the compass because I've never seen it appear before getting the compass. On your map, anyway. Oh, oh, that's how you're supposed to know. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I didn't get that chest before I... Or I didn't get the compass before I forgot that, so I was thinking there was no way to know. But, of course, the compass would let you know. Yeah, it, 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 the compass is kind of a blind... Kind of a blind thing. I've actually never seen it appear in the spot it's supposed to appear. Um... <laughs> So those things are mini freezers. They're very annoying. You touch, you freeze. Were those the enemies that you were thinking of? No, no. Okay, then I think I know exactly which ones you're thinking of. I'm just going back to the compass. It'd be like if the map, if you didn't get the map, you complete the dungeon. Tilt, tilt, tilt. And that's why you don't want to do that, because you know one of them's going to come up behind you. Uh, and <laughs> and any, every, whatever I try to do to them, they always... Oh, wow. <laughs> they always find a way to get through my shield. And that thing's still not dead. I must have been, like, hitting them all once or something. And I'm taking lots and lots of damage. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is what I mean about this dungeon and taking lots of hits. This is why you want 13 hearts when you come in here. Yeah. Actually, I've not gotten to this place in my 3 heart one yet. Oh, that'll be interesting. I think I'm, like, right after the Arbiter's Grounds. I think the enemy I hate is coming up in this room. Boy. 
Yep. This is a chill zone. The reason why they're so annoying, well, a couple of reasons. Number one, you can't kill it with the sword unless Javelin is, is shattered. And it makes a new Javelin like almost instantly after you shatter it. And number two, they are very, very accurate and fast. They look so weird. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. They remind me of many Ice Titans from uh, Kingdom Hearts and Hercules. Oh, yeah. Oh. So here's the chest that Yetta pointed out. And it's a pumpkin. The great pumpkin! Now, why they got a pumpkin all the way from Ordon Village, I have no idea. <laughs> Wouldn't it have gone bad even by now? I mean, yeah, it I mean, it, it might have been it might have been growing right next to one that I chucked for a rupee. Well, yeah. That's kind of funny. So and no keys to be found. I and of course Midna is annoyed. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame her. And I dawdled around here for a while because I thought there was a way to make a shortcut, and then I finally realized. <laughs> that that you make that shortcut later, and I also got frozen again. Of course. I've been frozen a lot today. <sighs> oh, by the way, guys, um, I put this up on my channel page, but this is to viewers in general. I put this up on my channel page. My schedule for the time being is going to be Twilight Princess, uh, FF8, Earthbound, and repeat one video a day it'll be a longer video like generally 15 to 25 minutes i find making one longer video is easier than making two short ones Makes sense. so <laughs> i love it he 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 did, he's like oh you have pumpkin <laughs> smash <laughs> shove <laughs> Kind of like a Goron hug. And she's confuzz. She's confuzz cat. Oh, I love that when you <laughs> in your when you put that thing. In. 